Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tema's Tutorials. Today we'll be going over, hmm, let's see, banded pillars. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so in the very beginning of what we're going to be going over, I want to show you an, an example of what it is that I'm talking about. Is this right here. And if you notice that the the actual distance between the actual pillar and the band that we're putting around it, it's really, really tight. It's little thin banding. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. And I'm going to show you um, hopefully an easy way to do that. Um, Shag uh, from LaForge was the one that actually um, put this tutorial out on the forums and <clears throat> I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with it on actually how to make these offset voxels that he uses for his tutorials as well as showing his technique on actual placement of these bands uh, on the pillars themselves. So um, let's go through the process first on how to make these really thin um, offset voxel panels that are curved and rounded and we can actually work with it. Okay, <clears throat> so I've already got a lot of stuff set up so it kind of cut down on time and whatnot but uh, we're going to be starting out with our add tool right here at the bottom. Go to your shape selection and select the slope corner inside. Now once you have this Go ahead and place one down, hold down your control key, click and bring it up into the air and paste. From here we're going to select it, copy it, and then make us this little 3x3 three three with a one voxel gap in between each one of them. So let's do that right quick. One. We're going to hit tab to move it. Scroll your mouse wheel, place, tab, V to mirror, place, tab, V to mirror, and tab. And once we have this little shape uh, actually created, we can take our selection tool, grab it, copy it, and then paste it into a reactor that I uh, have already pre prepped here, which is a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube filled in and then everything but the center voxel and the corner voxels deleted so that way we have the shape right here as you can tell um, right here in front of me this is a voxel reactor control V to paste and we're going to replace the two the uh, four voxels down at the very bottom by placing them in there you can see how it took that voxel and stretched it all the way down to the, the lowest point. We're going to hit V to mirror, go up and paste again and that way the top stretches to the utmost uh, point that we can do here. So now we have this offset voxel as I've already got here. Once we have that we're going to copy that offset voxel and start placing it down on a quarter circle piece and it's going to take some time but this right here is uh, fairly simple to make this here is a six by six and if you notice I have three voxels in a row cut across and then the corner taken out and you can pretty easily create this um, just by one second let me switch tools back to my cube. Let me fill this in so you can see this. This is the area that you would take out. The corner, then two, then three. And once you have all this taken out, take that offset voxel and paste it right on top of our little quarter circle and as we paste it down it flattens out that voxel like so and you can look at the bottom it has made that voxel super thin and it's on the very bottom of where the offset is 
and as you can tell here I've already started you know I've almost completed one here and just going ahead and end this one out and once we have that all placed down we're basically using this as basically a template to know where to put all of our offset voxels in and, and actually create them once we have that created we select just the offset voxels that we've placed copy and basically just creating a circle out of it and we've got like a little bit of overlay here or that the side of that that quarter circle is going to basically overlay where the one next to it is and this is going to create an 11 by 11 circle let me get this all that kind of laid out for us here like this drop it down and paste and this will create our circle a little template that we're going to be using here once we have this take our selection tool and select this whole top section don't worry about anything else that you've seen so far you know the little circle that I had at the bottom it was just there to make sure I had my placement correctly but uh, but once we have this circle created we're going to copy it <clears throat> and I've already laid this out over here but I'll kind of you know drop down another one just so I could uh, show you what we've got here I'm going to stack this nine times so one two three four five six seven eight nine and once you have you know your stack of nine of these templates <clears throat> we're gonna have this we're gonna take our selection tool grab as far down as you possibly can just drag this out to select the whole thing like so pull it all the way up to the very top and make sure it covers the whole thing just like this now we're going to use our smooth tool five times on this particular size if you get really big you may have to go a little bit more if you go smaller you may have to go a little bit less anything for this particular size anything more than the five times the actual uh, flat edges on the bottom will start actually sagging like this the more you smooth it the more it'll sag so you will not have a straight line of for a band that goes all the way around and I'll demonstrate that here in a moment so one two three four five so I have five now and if I take the top bring it down take the bottom bring it up and then we paint this a different color let's go with that uh, obsidian black you'll see that this is where I had it selected and that's where I painted it but it paints the one that's just below it this actually has created an offset circle that we can use for various different reasons and I'll we'll go over that here in a moment <clears throat> so I have this created now but as I said before, if you go over that amount, let me go ahead and select it all again, and we start smoothing it more. One, two, three. So I've already smoothed it three more times, but you notice that how it starts putting these waves in it. And this is what's going to happen if you actually over smooth it. It'll start doing these this wave formation, even if you know we didn't have that already painted it would still do it and for example down here at the bottom if I paint this down here you can see I have those wave shapes so let me back out to this right here and this is basically what I'm after anyway so let's bring this up copy and paste it out As you can see here, I have <clears throat> that offset voxel disk now. 
So if I take my selection tool, that is where it actually um, physically resides, but the visual part of it is, is kind of hanging down low. So, <clears throat> but this is pretty much what we're after. Now, let's um, go back just a little bit, and I'm going to create some disks, some actual disks that we can use this on um, for the purpose of creating a flat panel. And these little flat panels, I can be able to manipulate what we've already created to expand it out in different ways. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and I'm going to grab this right here just so I can quickly make this. Let's bring this up. Mirror. 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 And I'm going to stack uh, voxels right on the top of it so we can get these back to uh, the way they were. And delete these out. Go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to stack this. Copy, paste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Select the whole thing and treat it just like we did before with five smooths. One, two, three, four, five. Drag this down to the center. Bring this up to the center. That way we have the center of block. Copy. I'm going to take the rest of it and just delete it out because I'm not going to need it anymore. Bring this up and paste. Now we have a standard smooth piece and if I take my selection tool now you can see I'm grabbing it and it's right in the center but this one over here is an offset so it sits off to the side. I'm going to take this one over here and grab the outsides, pull it around, select the whole thing copy, paste overlay it and then bring it down to and paste mirror it bring it up just on top and paste now if I take my paint tool if I paint in the center if it will grab another color you can see it has expanded it and made it really wide for that one voxel and that's because that center voxel has been stretched out to its maximum potential uh, for that offset that we have pasted on the top and the bottom it, it has literally pulled it like this to meet up with what we have pasted on top of it so now we have this and I've already got one right here that I've kind of pre-prepped <clears throat> but we can use this one as well and we may end up using both so uh, here in a moment I've already made us a pillar now your pillar it, it's all up to you on like the sizing the shaping all that sort of thing this is just a vertical pillar uh, you can use uh, the same technique on ones that have a slight bevel to it you know slightly goes in at an angle you can still use those uh, for the way we're fixing to treat this so let's copy that bring it over <clears throat> and paste it in <clears throat> so there we have it now 
these pieces that we've created, this this one here in the center and the one that's off to the side there, it's basically instead of one voxel thick, it's three voxels thick. And what we're wanting to take out is a three voxel section out of the center of our pillar. But when we copy out the piece from our pillar, we need five voxels. We're affecting these, but we need these to make sure that these are clean enough that when we paste it back in, it's gonna come out looking good. So now, grab from our pillar a five voxel, right here, five voxels, section. And let's go ahead and copy this section out of here. And it should be 11 by 11 by five voxels for what we're doing here. It may change depending on the size you're doing. Bring this up and paste. Now we'll select a three voxel high section from the center of it, like this. Eleven by eleven by three, and we're going to do a Control C to copy, Escape, Control V to paste, stack it right on the top, and bring it right down where we want the area to take it to take out of that pillar, that we can replace it with the offset voxel that we created earlier. For this, hold down your Control key and click. This is going to bring up this little little box. Put a check and remove voxels and this is going to remove the voxels that are in the center without causing as much of distortion as what we would have if we just hit the delete key. If we hit the delete key you'll start getting little jagged air edges and it'll look like poop. Um, also if you use the delete key it'll do the same exact thing. But we want for this we want to actually do the remove um, using the actual control um, adjustment mode and put a check in remove voxels and click check you can see we get two nice discs that we can work with the next section we're going to do here is we're going to make a copy of this right here that we created earlier copy this pull this out 11 by 11 by one voxel control C to copy and we're going to paste that right in the dead center of these two panels that we pulled out and deleted the center from let's bring this down you can see it overhangs just a little I'm going to hold a control click just to make sure that I am where I need to be that way I can move around my object and, and know that it's not totally screwing it up and it's perfectly centered. And then with or without air, it doesn't really matter. We're going to paste in. You can see I'm getting a little bit of pull. All right, so let's select the whole thing and let's just repaint it. There we go. And paint. There it goes. So now we have a band that actually um, looks uh, fairly decent that we can actually throw in there. We've got a little edging here, but I'm um, not exactly sure what causes that. I think it's just the from the pasting in of this particular voxel here. But this this basically shows you how to make the offset. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it in here at the bottom. Paste you can see how we've got this little banding and now if you're doing something like um, ogre type stuff I mean we can come in here and paint this pretty much whatever we want to now my color scheme is probably not exact exactly good for that but you can come here and paint this and you can see it turns out looking fairly awesome and uh, this is one that I had created earlier. Copy. And let's put that in the place of this one here in the center. 
paste and it comes out looking really good paste and then you can pop it right in and there you go there's you another band so you can get some uh, some pretty neat little little things that come out of this and as I said before um, this whole concept kind of came from shag over at uh, La Forge and um, I was playing around with it and it actually turned out really well um, I actually used it on some some uh, pillars that actually had off shapes and you can see how I got a little bit more of a gap on the bottom and I've got a little bit less here at the top but overall it's got this really nice banded look around the pillars um, shag actually has already saved us a lot of time if you're willing to uh, to go out and look for it um, he has created this board that has all different sizes and shapes of banding that you can use for it and without having to go through the, the process of this.